Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 of the holiday makeup releases, the best of the best that this time of year has offered us. The picks for me, the ones that give me the most joy, the ones that I feel like are the most exciting, worth your money, worth your time and your energy in general. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start off with what is on my lips and this is Lisa Eldridge's in, here it is. Lisa Eldridge's Enchantment, ah. This was such an unexpected love for me. I was like on the fence about a lot of Lisa's shades just because they're so hard to judge how they'll look on you. I feel like Lisa comes out with a lot of lip colors that are not like close to anything that I already own. And so I just don't know, is that for me? Is that gonna work for me? Is that gonna suit me? Is that gonna be my cup of tea? I don't know. But I've learned over the years to trust her and buy them anyway, because I always end up loving them and they always end up looking so much more beautiful than I was expecting. This one more than like ever before. Enchantment gives me like everything that Cinnabar gives me, but I feel like it's slightly more wearable for every day for me on my skin tone. It's just that hair lighter. I feel like there's something so sophisticated and classy, but like put together an independent woman, you know? Like if I wanted to go to a board meeting and have everybody agree with me, this is the lipstick I would wear because I feel like you trust this person. She is confident, you know? She knows what she's talking about. She's in control, she's in charge. That's what this lipstick's giving me. It was such an unexpected love. I can't stop wearing it. I, I love it and wear it even more than Sorcery, which was the one I expected to love. I knew I would love that one. This one took me by surprise and I'm obsessed. It's one of my favorite Lisa lipsticks ever. And that is saying something because I love those lipsticks, okay. Next up, a product that came out so long ago, I've almost forgotten it was a holiday release and it's Hourglass's Tiger face palette. You guys know how much I love this palette. It's just perfect. I've got a lot of these palettes from Hourglass, okay? I've got a lot of them over the years. There's always something in there you don't use that's not quite your cup of tea, that doesn't quite suit your work on your skin tone, that's just not something that you're drawn to using. I use everything in here, everything in here, and I reach for this more often than I ever have one of these palettes. I'm still using this, even though <laughs> it's not even been Christmas yet, but it's been out for like two months, this palette already. So they were a bit premature with the release date, I will say that, but I'm still using it, you know, a couple of months later, which is rare for these palettes. I feel like I, they're really exciting to look at and eye-catching in the beginning, but quite quickly you're like, okay, enough, and it goes in the drawer. This one, I'm still using it. I still feel like I'm gonna be using it all of next year because it's so beautiful. I love everything in there. Everything works perfectly. And it's a full face, a full face. We're not missing anything. At last, finally, such a great release. Next up, let's talk about Chanel's Rose Door Highlighter. Oh, she's beautiful. It's just right up my street, that beautiful, luminous, smooth glow. That's so pretty and flattering and doesn't emphasize texture and lines. It melts into the skin. This is going to be one that I love even more come like spring and summer because at the moment, it, I have to be a bit careful with it. I have to be a bit strategic with the placement of it because it is quite deep for my winter skin tone. In summer, this I just know this is gonna be like my favorite highlighter in summer because the formula is stunning. So smooth, so beautiful and luminous and flattering. And I love the smoothness of it. It's just the smoothest of the smoothie smooth, smoothity, smooth, you know? It's smooth like James Bond. I mean, the embossing and the pattern, you know, that I don't get suckered into these things, but I can appreciate them. And that is, it's beautiful to look at and I'm not mad at it. I can appreciate it. Next up, another surprising one for me, but this is Pat McGrath's, what she actually called, 
Bronze Bliss five pan. So this is the cooler of the two five pans that Pat gave us for holiday. The shivers in here are so beautiful and creamy. They feel like cream shadows and they're just, I love this color story. It's simple, it's small, it's a five pan, it's diddy, but it's got everything you need to do a full kapow look. I absolutely love this. It was such an affordable price, price, price? who it was such an affordable price point i just assumed it was going to be like the very average and i thought it would like not be pat's you know best quality i thought she would be scrimping us because of the lower price point and giving us like subpar impact but she didn't i can only apologize how rude of me but this is it's a great little gift it's a great stocking filler it's a great little travel friendly palette if you want to try pat mcgrath but you do not want to spend like a hundred odd pounds on a mothership this is like going to give you a taste of the magic and you know that's a dangerous road to go down so you've been warned next up let's talk about what i have on my eyes it's the lisa eldridge sorcery palette oh sorcery is such a good name for this palette as well because there's some kind of sorcery going on in here the matte in here it's so flipping creamy, but it's so flipping versatile. You saw in my review, you can blend this forever and a day. And I use this so lightly today and actually took on a bit of a different color. You know, if you sort of build this up, it's a very sort of deep, rich green. But when you blend this out, it kind of becomes a bit more of a sort of smoky and it has some kind of gray and just earthy tones in there. So actually very versatile. And, you know, I just used the sort of green shimmer and the chartreuse on my lid today, bit of a topper with this one. I didn't use the blue. But I feel like this is a very versatile, fun, impactful palette in a really glorious, not super common type of colour story. It gives you something different, which I appreciate, but it's just so beautiful. And the colours are, you know, there's, it's a colourful palette. It's not, you know, a neutral palette, but I find it really wearable and so beautiful. The light catching quality of these shallows, they're so reflective and they just really have a gorgeous reflective shimmer quality that's actually like really smooth and doesn't bring out a lot of you know the lines and the texture on your lids and give you a lot of creasing or anything like that i love how minimal the fallout is for such impactful shadows the quality the color story the packaging i love everything about this palette it's stunning next up another product that's been out for so long i forgot that it was in fact a holiday release but it's charlotte tilbury's beautifying face palette this is the medium deep shade when this first came out i feel like directly after it there were a lot of new releases and therefore i didn't get like the opportunity to sort of use it a lot straight away and i'm just now finding like my way back to it and remembering how stunning it is i'm also finding like newfound appreciation for the lighter palette now that I, it's winter and my skin tone is lighter that one works so much more beautifully on me now than it did in the summer when it kind of pulled a little gray and just left a bit of a cast on my skin because it was a little light now that one is stunning as well these are just this this is the this is the type of product that gives me my heart my makeup love and heart a lot of joy it's the stunning package Packaging. it's the beautiful products inside it's that glowy glossy charlotte tilbury skin that i love you know i love charlotte tilbury products there's four of them in here they're all gorgeous whenever i put these all on my cheeks i just love the overall effect there's just something very special and joyful and joy giving about these sort of face palettes with beautiful packaging like they just give me extra joy sprinkled on top as opposed to like you know a single blush these it's just like oh I just love them. Now, another eyeshadow palette that doesn't feel very festive or like holiday Christmas gifty to me, but I love her nonetheless. It's Natasha Denona's Retro Glam Palette. It's just like it does what it says on the tin. It gives us all of the greeny pinky vibes that we were hoping for it too and we did wait too long we waited too long we were less excited by the time it was finally here but the quality in here 
is incredible and some of these shadows like this flutter i love using this just with like bronzer in the crease or like a couple of these sort of more neutral shades in here because it's such a pretty like topper shade look at the reflection of that shade it's so pretty and sparkly and light reflective it kind of gives me a similar finish to like the the face the glam face and cheek and I, you know, the one, the, the cheek and, well, you know, the one, right? It gives me that same level of impact and shimmer and reflect, and it's so pretty, but there's just, there's something a bit different, a bit unique that draws me to this, but I feel like these tones suit me and they suit my personality and my taste and preference when it comes to makeup, but it's just very easy going, and I really love it. I think to look at it, I'm like, mm, it's just, meh, but actually on the eyes, everything is just much more beautiful than it looks in here and I find that a lot about Natasha's shadows I feel like a lot of them how they look in the pan is not how they look on the eye or even how they swatch and so you really have to like use it and and get in there and get some looks going to know how you feel about a palette I think just looking at it and looking at the color story is not going to tell you whether it's for you or not you really do have to use it because a lot of these shadows don't look how they appear they're a little misleading which is problematic but I think it's some of the formulas that Natasha uses especially her cream powder formula those shades never look anything like how they actually go on the eye and I find this really fun and one that I reach for a lot. Next up let's talk about Pat McGrath's Nude Venus 2. This is the single blush that was available with her holiday collection. It's one of my favourite ever blushes from her brand. I do have the original and they are very very similar. This one just gives me a bit more pigment and it's a bit peachier and it's also, I think, a little more luminous finish-wise to the original. I did like the original, but um, I way preferred Desert Orchid, so I never really used Nude Venus. This one I'm using now more than I'm using Desert Orchid. It's just, the, the differences are subtle, but I love it. I love the embossing, I love the packaging, I love that it has this, so I actually know which one this is when it's in my drawer of like 10 compacts that look like this. But I love this color, it's so easy to wear. I feel like it's one that I can use in summer and in winter because it's got enough pigment but it's also very wearable and inoffensive it's not fighting with anything it's the perfect everyday neutral pretty blush for me next up let's talk about this hourglass phantom gloss so I love this formula I had a few of these before I bought the holiday gift set with the two shades in one of the shades in the little gift set is an existing shade I think it's slip so that is an existing shade but I didn't already own it so the shade that was like specific specifically for that holiday set is a new shade for holiday is Rouse <gasps> and it is so perfect I really wanted like a richer nude in this formula because I think Trace is really the only nude available previously to this one and it's like quite light it's a very you know I have to clean my lips off of any foundation or anything that's got on there for it to kind of give me color whereas this one it's just like the perfect everyday nude in this formula that I love so much so this was an utter win for me in that set because yeah I really needed like a richer nude in this formula because I love it so so much it's just such an easy going comfortable it gives me like glossy shiny plump lips juicy looking lips and now this is definitely like my favorite shade that I've tried so far this was a real like surprise again surprising wind for me because I I think based on the pictures it looked like a really deep like berry and then actually on me it's just a really nice richer warmer more autumnal nude and lastly another little palette from Lisa Eldridge this time it is Vega Vega was really surprising a bit like enchantment you know I saw Lisa's video and I was always interested the most interested in sorcery because it was the one that was the most unique color story to me but this one caught my eye because it there was something about it that was giving me the vibes of my Natasha Denona five pan that has been discontinued that is long gone that we cannot get our mitts on something about these smoky shades in there especially this one but also the shimmer and just the overall look of this palette but this one again like enchantment 
shook me when I actually used it. The thing that was surprising was not like the impact and the over the top shimmer. The thing that surprised me about this one was how wearable and versatile it is for every day. You know, I, the look that I did in my video, if you just use these, these mattes, actually this one is a velvet, but it's almost like a sort of satin matte, the, the, the feel of it and the look of it on the eye. So soft, you know, you can use these two together and a little bit of either shimmer and it's a very muted, everyday, understated, but very pretty and a bit unique because of the tones, especially in the French grey shade. There's just something, you know, cooler and more unusual and very flattering about that combo for every day. Very, very soft. But then you've got these shades that are so rich and smoky and give you all those options. You've got the black that you can use, you know, as liner as well. So this literally can give you every day very soft, subtle, pretty feminine vibes but a bit unique because of that cooler smokier gray undertone running through it or you can go all out full-on smoky eye it's very versatile versatile for a six pan incredibly versatile so i was really surprised by how much i loved this how different it was how beautiful it was on the eye the formulas like i said for sorcery are right up there with my favorite ever formulas of all time i love using these palettes because they're just such a joy to use the formulas are so good and this one really surprised me. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 holiday releases. I'm gonna say so far, because although there's not very many days left of the year and I haven't seen anything that's coming yet, and I haven't seen anything that's coming soon that is like catching my eye that would possibly challenge for a top 10 spot, but, there's always something that just comes right in at the very last minute of the year, isn't there? Usually it's Charlotte Tilbury. She dropped a whole foundation a couple of years ago, like in the middle, at the very end of holiday and shook us all to our core. So something may come along. If there's something you're thinking, but Charlotte, what about that? It probably came out after I filmed this video because people love to do that to me and make me look a fool. Please let me know what your absolute picks, your fave of your fave of your fave holiday releases were this year, or have you just been unimpressed by all of it? Please let us know in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye.